Now, as you know, I'm not exactly the cautious type. I am aware. However, in this case, I'll make an exception. This ganger, I remember him. Former bodyguard for Lomo, a real nutcase. He lost his enforcing gig for enforcing a bit too hard. To be clear, this guy was too extreme for Lomo. So when we meet him, you have to be less you. You could get us killed, especially if they make you as corpsec. I have reservations about this whole arrangement. You want to be a kick-ass corpsec agent, right? Unafraid of gangers, streetwise. So you have to learn how to do that. It'll take practice. Now's your chance. Is this the right time to practice? Is it wise for me to accompany you? Sure, because if they decide to kill just one of us, my odds of survival are pretty awful if I'm the only one there. How do I convince them I am streetwise? Just sound serious. Try not to be so corpish. Every time you're about to say something, just add a fuck to the end and say it with half as many words as you usually use. Affirmative. And when you talk, I'll be right there. Don't worry if you're in trouble, I'll bail you out. You stand in front and I'll whisper if I think you need to say something specific or tell you if you're fucking up really badly. Got it? Yes. This is a good plan. Who the fuck are you? Am I to talk for us? Yes. Remember, make him think you're the kind of android he should fear. I am the kind of android you should fear. The hell you say? You can't just say it, make him think it. How? Tell him you're not to be fucked with. I am not to be fudged with. Oh, fucked. You have to swear. You malfunctioning or something? You gotta have a faulty CPU to come at me like that. You know who I am? You are Switchblade Greg, the criminal enforcer and feared ganger. You hear that, lads? Feared, huh? Them straight. Now please tell me why I shouldn't tear out your fucking optics, you fucking corp bot. This is going badly. Maybe we can start over, Mr. Switchblade. Allow me to introduce myself. Remember, more fucks. What's your name, corp bot? I'll need it for your orbit. My name is not important, and this is my colleague, Barry. I am engaged in a variety of illegal and immoral activities that would contravene many logical and well-constructed corpsec laws, which fulfill the social contract while allowing the free and unrestrained flow of capital and thus business. You fuck. You better explain all those fancy words, you fuck. 50% less words. I am doing crimes. I break reasonable and fair corpsec laws often. Fucker. Stop calling him a fucker. Hey, how about you tell me your name too? Stop hiding behind your crazy fucking bucket here. Hayes, you might have heard of me. Nope. Look, he's obviously crazy. No one who knows who you are or is thinking straight would talk to you like that. Yeah. But we're also obviously not narky either, right? I mean, I'm as high as fuck, and he's insane. Look at my eyes, man. Hey, I see it. Got the red lines. You're a juice head. Ah, just a taste here and there. He is a drug addict. We just want you to hack a logical induction chip. No questions, good pay. Show me. Hey, I can hack this. You let me keep it, I won't even ask for limbs. I send you the info when I crack it. Give me your com deets and I'll call you. We want the chip back. Not really an option for you. I call you, I keep this, now fuck off. I would like to clear up a misunderstanding. I am not malfunctioning, I am simply- Shut up and let's go. Jane, you there? That dead drop job is on hold. Want us to move on to the next job? Yeah, sending a nav point now, driver 13. You were driver 13? Yeah, why? I have no further comment. Three impossible jobs, huh? Down to two already. 
two and a half. You didn't finish the first one yet. So what do we got next? I'm patching you through direct to the client. All right. Taking a while. Did you start drinking vodka and lime juice again and forget how to use the comm, Jane? This particular call is a little trickier than normal, Hayes. The client is in orbit. Orbit? The S&M Club? No, the place above the clouds. Wow, I've never met anyone off Terra before. Should I put on a fresh shirt? How will I... Stop babbling. Connecting broad spectrum call to your Hava now. Hello? This is Laser Broadcast Sailor Ray, designation 436 Delta, signing on. Am I speaking to Earth? Is that the central government? The central... No, definitely not. Has civilization collapsed again? No, maybe. I'm Hayes, I deliver packages. You know, the first time I woke up, I spoke to the president of the Earth Federation. The second time, it was a senior advisor of the Confederation of Humanity. Then later, maybe... Twentieth time? The person who responded wanted to trade me four axe heads for access to the breedable females. The air a little thin up there in space? Last time I hit rock bottom, I got my kicks from oxygen deprivation. You get a buzz, but you don't make much sense. You are still at rock bottom. The air up here is fine. A good deal better than yours, I'd wager. I'll explain when you pick up the package. Hi, space lady. I got your package. It was just left in an alleyway. That's where my apartment used to be. So, what is it? Are you supposed to ask clients what's in their package? Yeah, it's one of our rules. It's my house plants. <sighs> you want me to water them, or...? No. They've been frozen too long. A bit like me. I want them dumped in the water system of Novalis. Maybe some frozen seed will sprout to life again. After that, I've got some more affairs I need your help with. I can't really take care of things up here. I have an inquiry to make. Did you say you were frozen? Sure was, little robot earthling. And I will be again in just under... four hours. They defrost me once every century. You are very old, then. So old, you wouldn't be able to understand me if my comm wasn't routed through a real-time translation, I'll go. Another reason that defrosting me costs the Corp precious resource cycles. What are you doing in space? Looking out the window. What's it like? Beautiful. Exposed. Stars are cold and distant, and they go on forever. You just look around? The corpse must have you up there for some shady reason, spying on dissidents or beaming mind control rays into our head. I'm the one and only crew member of the laser broadcast sail array designation 436 Delta. Using photon recycling, my satellite array pushes a light sail through space with laser propulsion. You can't do it on Earth. Too much interference. 
But you're not on the light sail. Nope. I guess I'm a bit like a port. But a port that fires a laser beam that pushes a space sail ship through the galaxy. How far has the spaceship gone? Far enough to discover alien life. You are shitting me. Really? <laughs> yep. Or so they told me 800 years ago. Apparently we weren't worth their attention. Haven't heard much about it since. It's hard to keep up with current events when you're only awake one day in every 36,000. Is that the right number? I've never been great at maths. Is maths not a prerequisite for an astronaut? I guess. Who knows, robot dude? I'm pretty tired. What's it like being frozen in cryostasis? All right. Before I left Earth, I thought each time I woke, it would feel like I was picking up right where I left off. But that's not how it works. The boredom leeches in, even when you're unconscious. I think I just kind of exist now. Maybe I should be angry. Confused. Ready to come home. But all I am is glad I'm not down there. Especially when I, no offense, talk to someone like you. <sighs> Fair. Hey, Sala, I threw your plants and stuff in the ocean. What now? I sent you another nav point. Your HQ. You must know a ton about history and stuff, right? With you being so ancient? I guess so. You interested? Nah, not really. Just making conversation. You must be lonely. Me and Morpho will keep you company. I could tell you about the revolution. How it went wrong. How the governance of Earth Coalition promised the world with their new city, Navalis and built it on lies, stolen money, and the bodies of poor workers. Ugh, drag. What's your favorite food up there in space? Just after the Automata defrost me from cryostasis, I have this pea puree and mango tea with amphetamines. Really invigorating. When you haven't eaten for a hundred years, everything tastes great, to be honest. I feel like this conversation is squandering an opportunity to learn insights from someone in space with generations of lost knowledge. Should our questions not be more profound? So, do you jerk off in space? Sure, yeah. It's not that different. In zero-G, when your hands are busy, you gotta make sure you don't bump your head. Trust me on that. You spoke before about civilizations rising and falling, but there are still corporations paying for you to be in space, funding you and supporting your expedition. This makes no sense. It makes no sense to me either, robot. It is what it is. I think some rich family wants to know what's really out there. And through the generations, they just keep this whole project going. I think they're called... Astris, or something. Like I said, 
My head gets foggy. I find it fascinating that in the fair and competitive markets of Novalis, a company can maintain their cutting-edge success over thousands of years. Yeah, Morpho, it really is a wonder how the rich stay rich. Hey, I got the next package, Sala. Where are we going? I sent you a nav point. The package is some flowers for Mom's grave. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. She's been dead for a long time, Hayes. But thanks. So this is a big day for you, right? One day every hundred years, you gotta make it special. Fill it with good stuff. You mean other than checking and recalibrating the trajectories on a blad of laser propulsion? Yeah, that's right. Other than that. Well... I already had my pee paste, I had a shower, cleaned cryogel gunk out of every orifice. I did some stretches, did my calibrations, then radio... Then I had some spare clock cycles to spend on calm time back to Earth. So I asked for some errands to be run, and here we are. Can you listen to some music? Sure, but it's all empty. Written by people long dead about other people who are also long dead. It doesn't feel relevant. Read the news? Set myself up for another depression session? No way. Is there any of the rainforest left at all? The what? Shit. What about you, Hayes? What's your perfect day? Oh, shit. Let me think. Just so you know, ma'am, Hayes is currently smoking drugs. I guess that. Come on, Earth dude, tell me about your best day. I'm not gonna tell anyone else, so be honest. Best day? Huh. Well, I remember the day after I lost all my money on one bad poker hand. It was the same day Jenna dumped me. I figured, hey, if I went against Glydale, she's gotta come back to me. Glydale? Some big shot gambler? The biggest. I was on a hot streak, though. I mean, damn it, I couldn't fucking lose. Until you did. And please swear less. Right. Well, the details don't matter now, I guess. Anyway, I woke up in a beat up apartment. Hungover, covered in bruises, taste of blood in my mouth, and not a single limb in my pocket. I know things do not go well for you. But I worry that this was your best day. It was, though. I had nothing. Fucking nothing. Nothing left to lose. It was like the, the peace of being dead. But I could still smoke and drink and misbehave. It felt amazing. I lay there on those soiled sheets, a breeze blowing across my bare body, the rain beating down against the glass, the winds rattling the window. There was this steady thump, thump from the nightclub below. My neighbors were fucking or killing each other. Either way, they kept screaming. The air smelled of ozone and smoke and spilled vodka. Just then, when I started to feel like my soul was drifting away from my body completely, my hand, hanging out of the end of the bed, brushed against something. A body? No, a bag from the night before. There was a bottle of black wine, a pack of smokes, half a vial of juice, and a fresh kebab from the night before. Sounds like heaven, Hayes. I swear I didn't buy that stuff. It was sent by the universe to save me, to get through that day. My best day.
So I got the flowers to the stacks. Where do you want them? Did you want to say some words for your mom or something? Sure. Stay dead, bitch. Whoa! If you met her, you'd say the same thing. But if you hated her, why the flowers? She was still my mom. Right. So, uh, just put them on the ground? Yeah. Or on a bench or something. You still have benches on Earth? One or two. Got any more jobs for me? Just a request. Anything. Make the most of your day. Every day. You don't get that many. I believe this to be bad advice. Hayes does not need to live in the moment. He seems very happy reveling in his own bad habits. Does he? I don't think so, robot. Hayes, listen to me. The only currency we have is time. Time and imagination creates purpose. Find some purpose. Have you found your purpose, Sala? I'm working on it. Hey, I did have a question about history. Make it quick. My cycles are almost spent. Is this the end? I mean, it feels like the end down here on the streets. No one gives a fuck about anyone else. The planet's ruined, the city's sinking into the ocean, the cultists all seem pretty sure we're doomed, and none of us will be saved. At least that's what's written on their signs. We're finished, right? Everyone thinks they live at the end of history, Hayes. Tonight won't be the end of our story, but any night could be the end of yours. Look after yourself. See you in a hundred years, Sala. Sure. See you then, Hayes. This is Laser Broadcast Sail Array Designation 436 Delta. Signing off. Here's what we have in stock. Thanks, bud. Come again. I need a favor, Driver 13. Anything for you, Jane. Pick up my niece and help her out. She's stranded. Sure. Does this count as one of those three impossible jobs? No, but it is mandatory, and I will pay you just like it's a regular delivery. You can count on me, boss.
time for Peter Wiltz in his watch shop to improve your day. Hey, thanks, Peter. Let's give a big hand to our valued customer. You my knight in shining hover? Hop in. Old dude? I mean, for sure, hot old dude. Loving that grey hair. Real silver fox vibe you got going on there. I like your keytar. Everyone does. I barely get a minute's piece on the street without some slack jaw telling me he likes my keytar. And asking me to come back to his and play his flute. You mean? It's the tits. I got good tits. I guess. I mean, uh, so you're Jane's niece? Sure am. You might know me as Screaming Polly from the Deep Slices. Or Howling Polly Genocide from the Spit and Swallows. I'm not really up on my guitar bands. Come on. I need to get to the gig fast. Let's go, Silver Fox. I'm going to get you there nice and safe, and slow, otherwise control will kill me. I got smokes I could share, strong like. Sure, I could pick up the pace. Where are you headed? In Baku Kitten Club. My group is opening for some old man band called Too Many Cooks Bowl the Orgy. Hey, I know them. The percussionist headbutted me for kissing his sister. Bought me a drink afterwards. Cool guy. Mm-hmm. This hover is fucking gross, by the way. What's your deal, Silver Fox? What's with all the boxes? Was that we your robot friend? And why can't you afford air freshener? You're welcome to walk. I'm just dinging you. We can have a smoke and make the air smell better. Or master smell, at least. Light me up. So, like I said, what's your deal, Pops? Ooh. <coughs> My deal? Uh, can't you guess from the packages? I drive deliveries. Or I used to. If you deliver packages, why do you still have so many? I didn't say I was good at it. Ha! I like you. My dad is your age. No way he's not to me. I'm probably not gonna fuck you. That chill? Just the smoke is fine for me, thanks. So the robot? I am Cadet Morpho. A fucking sacco in your hover, for honest? What in core are you doing, Fox? This fucking robot is one of them. Not yet. Not till tomorrow. He's still in training. He'll be one of them soon enough. Yo, sacco. Fuck you and your whole system. You hear? Your cancer. Hey, Morpho's all right. I mean, kinda. He grows on you. Aye, aye. Like I said, cancer grows on you too. Ah, never mind him. Give me another drag of that. Wait, minor adjustment to the plan. We're going to the sin wave now. Change your venue. Why are we changing direction? In back the club says we trashed a drug too bad last time. We're going to go to a proper underground place now. Who doesn't even have a name? Hey, boss. How's the smoke? It's... It's really good. Where'd you get it? Our lead singer, Sala Grex. She grows it with these big fucking UV lamps. Makes the plants in the sea in the sun, then they grow big, and the chems in them get strong. This smoke is highly questionable. You should try smoking sometime, Seko. You can't really appreciate the rhythms of the city's music without manually adjusting your consciousness. If I am smoking, it is because my internal circuitry has failed, and I do not want to appreciate the rhythms of the city. We all move to our own beats, Echo. Even if yours is some. She's military march. <sighs> What's your beat, Polly? Been into heavy vocal, an ethereal lo-fi witch hop recently. I 
haven't heard of those. In fact, I barely understand what you're talking about half the time. But I like the smoke. <sighs> Hayes likes everyone who gives him narcotics. Nah, I pretend to. But Polly here? She's all right. For real. You're all right too, Fox. I think. Hang on, getting a message. Your band looking for you? Father fucker! No, they just... They just kept me out of the band. Replaced me with Lucy Lovelace. That vanilla ass, prudy, frozen face, bitch. She can't even play guitar. Plays the fucking viola. No one likes viola. Right. Take me to the double up club instead. This is very aggravating. Will we keep changing destinations all night? Chill out, Seco. Damn. If it will cool your circuits, I'd show you my tits. You don't care about that, do you? No. I don't think she's taking advantage of anyone. Of course you don't. I've known a million guys like Hayes. Old men love to hang out with young, hot women like me. It strikes their ego. They think they've got a chance now because they have money and a hover and a shitty apartment. All the things they didn't have when they were 19. And they still think that all that stuff is like a cheat code to get what they want from girls. All the barriers to dating a girl like me are gone now, but the problem is they're still boys. The posters on the bedroom walls are replaced with cheap art prints of album covers and instruments that don't know how to play. Hayes has no money, and this hover is semi-stolen. I can't believe he's still single. Who says I'm single? I don't know. Just every single thing about you. Is this why you were thrown out of the band? My failing honesty. Probably. Went into the open market, double love instead. I've got some free association spoken word poetry I'm ready to share. I predict it will contain profanity. Too fucking right. Want to practice on us first? Please, no. Relax, Seco. Hang on, getting another call? You want me to... Lucy! Why are you calling me, you fucking spout-faced, tight-lipped piece of fucking... Oh, really? In five minutes? I don't know. You all kind of fucked me there. But no hard, I guess. Close, maybe. I'll think about it, okay? Well, why don't you just get on stage and wait and see if I turn up? Bye. So, they needed you after all. They sure did. They said it was all just a misunderstanding. I tell you what, Pops. Why don't you tell me what I should do? What do you mean? I start on my own or stick with a band? You're cool. You're old and wise and shit. You choose. He is old. I think you should go back to your bandmates. Loyalty is important. What do you think, Jake? Fly, free lone wolf, and touch Elysium. Right. You really want me to choose, Polly? Yes, please, Daddy. I am experiencing great displeasure.
think it's for the best. Maybe skip the spoken word poetry and just play the guitar. Maybe. I'm not actually very good. You are, however, very pretty. And this is pop music after all. Is it fuck? This is protest music. Have you listened to a single thing I've said? Eh, bits and pieces. And even harsh political truths make more of an impact when the words come out of a pretty mouth. I know I said I probably wasn't going to fuck you, but I reconsidered. I definitely won't. Good luck, Polly. Goodbye, Hayes. You weren't my knight in shining hover. This thing is filthy, but you did get me to the ball one time. I'll tell me out you did good. Bye. What's so tough about this one? It's for the Blue Chewy Jazz Bar. Doesn't sound so tough. They're about to lose their jazz license. You have to get the package to them before SEC busts the place. Damn, on my way. Do you think about what the space woman said? About finding a purpose? Is that what she said? I thought she told me to seize the day. I have no doubt that is what you heard. She told you that you should find more to do with your life than vice. After you clear your debts and serve time in Corpsec Prison, you should try to achieve something meaningful. Corpsec Prison. You know you never get out right, they just make... Wage slave till you die. Corpsec will find productive work for you when I arrest you. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Morpho? What's your purpose? Corp sec. You sure you're making the right choice? I have seen no other life that appeals to me. I hope you find one by morning. through. Hey, I decrypted that message. You ready to receive the data? Greg, I got a level with you. When I saw those tattoos on your teeth, I was pretty sure you were just gonna rip me off and never call me back. You want it or not? Sure, fire away. It's a list of names. Altus Atreus, Sutodore, Old Zeke, Sasha Kozon, uh, Sarinam, Mati Ati, Rubric, Mr. A. A big list of names? Okay, okay. Send it in a data file? I can flesh it up on our display, but the info is marked as volatile. 
Shouldn't be saved on digital storage, or a corpse will track it. Sure, flash it up on my display. I have a photographic memory. Really? I am confident he does not have a photographic memory. On your screen now. You still got that cool part with you. I don't know who you mean. Right. Well, if you see him, tell him that next time he steps foot in my neighborhood, he's gonna learn what we do to undercover corp bots. It involves acid bats and pneumatic drills. I'll be sure he gets the message. Crap, we can't leave. If Corpsec are about to raid this bar, they won't be letting anyone out. Control warned you about this. I can't afford to get stuck here. Let's see if we can talk our way out of this. Imagine meeting a guy like you in a place like this. Hey, Molly. What do you mean? This is a nice place. Imagine meeting a guy like you in a place like this. I missed you too. Waterboarded any rich old men recently? The night is young. Waterboarding requires a permit. Not when it's consensual. Correct. Just like whipping, breath play, and being called a naughty, naughty little boy. Hey, does client dominatrix confidentiality mean nothing to you? Not when you skip the bill. The activities you listed mark you out as a torturer and or interrogator. Do you have a contract with Corpsec for such services? A few, but not in the way you think. Hayes, where did you get the bot? He's fresher than the vents. He's gonna arrest me in the morning. Fair. So, you getting one last drink at the Chew before it closes for good? I had hoped to get out quick. Now I'm stuck inside. At least I'm stuck here with a friendly face. Corpsec will raid any minute. Last orders. They'll never let this place stay open. What if the band just knocked it off with the jazz? You tried talking to these old-timers? Oh, they're less flexible than you in a hog tie. Molly! I'm sorry for embarrassing you in front of your cool new friend, Hayes. I tell you what, I love this place. If you can find a way to keep it open, I'll stop telling the world what's on your itemized bill. I'll even call off your debt. Deal? Maybe buy me a drink first? Don't push your luck, boy. No freebies of any kind. All right, I'll go talk to them. How can we keep the bar open? Molly seems doubtful we can save it. The robots here are very stubborn. Just leave it to me, Dorco. I'll turn on the charm. So, the saxophone, huh? I can play the saxophone. Not this one. This one is mine. Okay, buddy. I was just trying to figure out a way we can keep this place open. I... I really shouldn't be speaking to you. I need to change the spit valve before we can start playing again. You need to change the spit valve, but you're... What? Never mind. So I had this idea how you guys could help this place stay in business. Is your idea that we just stop playing jazz? Simple but effective. You got a loose grip on the situation, my friend. We have to keep playing. It's in our contract, and if we break that, we get decommissioned. Just play something that's not jazz. How? I don't know. I'm no expert. Just play less jazzily. Nope. No idea what you're talking about. Hey, so you play... Viola. Are all the jokes about violas true? What jokes? What's the difference between a viola and a vacuum cleaner? You have to plug a vacuum cleaner in before it sucks. So you have heard the jokes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You got a singer already? I can front a band, no problem. 
Probable lies detected. Well, I sing and play bass. But to be honest, my heart is not in it. I just want to... Yeah? Go on, you can tell me, buddy. I just want to dance. It's what I do best. I hate bass. It's just guitar for people who don't like attention. I like attention. I want to move my body. Live your dream, buddy. You should dance. To jazz? To whatever. And I'll take the vocals. Trust me, man. I can build hype. I got a set of pipes. Don't leave me on the bench. You should definitely leave him on the bench. Hey, me and my buddy Dorko were trying to figure out a way to save you guys. Are you scatting? That's a rat a You should meet Jank. A conversation between you both would be very insightful. I think that's the sassiest thing you've ever said, Morpho. Scoop up! Um, pong! Hip hop! hoo Right, better leave this guy to his koobly boobly keyboards. So, you think you could play something poppy instead? I mean, some basic 4 4 stuff without all the, you know, swing? No dice, Skip. I gotta stay true to the beats in my head. You gotta feel it, you know? If you ain't feeling it, you ain't really playing music. You're just making sounds. Can't you just make sounds for a while, though? Just till this corpse sec business blows over? No, sirree. No more than you could quit breathing. I can hold my breath for a minute, maybe two. Well, good for you, Skip. I can't hold back the beats. Did you get anywhere? I was thinking maybe I could be in a band, you know? I have the swagger, the voice, the talent, the physique. Physique? Remember I've seen you naked, Hayes. Don't see many lead singers with hot bellies these days. Don't body shame me. Oh, I think your pot is adorable, but music is an industry built on image. Just like mine. Rubber is not flattering on the figure. Oh, uh, come on, Molly. Let's run away and get married. We can get drunk and fat and old together. Let's just see if we can avoid getting arrested tonight and go from there. What did the band say? They won't stop playing jazz. Something about a contract. They don't all have to play at the same time. Yeah, but the music can't stop, and they won't play anything but jazz. What components make up jazz? I will look this information up on the nets. Is your friend okay? He seems to have frozen. I apologize for the delay. I was searching for definitions of jazz, and opinions vary. (sighs) Sounds like a waste of time. Negative. As jazz is composed of characteristic rhythmic patterns, harmonics associated with, but not necessarily identical to, functioning harmonies and the performance of improvised elements, we may be able to adjust the performance so that it no longer qualifies as jazz. How? I believe at least three musicians must play for the music to continue. Were you to select the least jazz-like elements of the musical composition, Perhaps when Corpsec hear that, they will reconsider their conclusions. I think he's onto something, Hayes. If you tell just three of them to play, maybe we can create some kind of music which doesn't quite qualify as jazz. Corpsec might hear it and think they've made a mistake. But who should play? You're the musical expert. Just go and talk to the three robots who will create the least jazzy music together. And the bassist, so I can take over as the singer. Your call. Just don't get carried away, Hayes, okay? Okay. Now is the time to choose. Speak to the three musicians who you think will create music least like jazz together. If Corpsec hears something that is not jazz, perhaps we can avoid disaster. We're going to play something a bit more pared back. You good with that? Sure, sure. As long as it's got swing. Uh, not too much swing. You're the boss. 
I assume, because you seem pretty confident anyway. Hey, you're going to do great. Let's do this thing. Hey, Scatbot, you want to play something new with just a couple of your bandmates? Scooby-dee-bee-ah, shoop shoop shabby dee doo Right. Hey, listen, we want just a few of you to play, okay? You need a viola solo? No, God no. But let's just have you and two more playing. Hey, what do you call someone who hangs around with musicians? A viola player. Of course. Interesting selection. Do you think this is going to work? Sure. When's the sec gonna bust this place? Well, they've locked us all inside. I'm guessing they'll bust us as soon as they hear jazz and have their evidence. Nah, they'll hear my new composition and let us go, I'm sure of it. Are you confident that this composition will not sound like jazz? Sure, 100%. Fires in the sea, though blizzards cold and rain on me. The lone wolf rules all above, and the fox hides far below. Years uprising stalls, revolution cold and faded sighs. Who carries flames for those who died? Who buries broken, shattered pride? Yeah. This is the Corpsec Jazz Enforcement Unit. We remind you that unlicensed jazz is illegal without a permit. This venue will be kept under surveillance. Failure to abide by these rules will result in seizure of assets and prosecution. Enjoy your day. Entry and exit to the club is once again permitted. Hey, I did it! I saved the bar! Ha! Fucking legend. But these robots will play jazz again! You have merely postponed the inevitable. Did you hear that song, man? This is the best night of my life. Let's all get drinks and hit the town and get tattoos. What should we call the song? You know, I was thinking something like... Time to leave. Ah, it's no good. We need something catchier. Your friend is right. You two should get out of here. I know, I know, I know. But I feel so alive, you know? So buzzed. I am going. You can stay if you want. I do not want to be here when everyone is arrested. Fine. What a buzzkill. You coming, Molly? Would be fun to have some company tonight. If you want my company, you know how much it costs. <laughs> See you around, Hayes. Well, that was a rush. I have a newfound appreciation for silence. Ah, we gotta get back to work anyway. We have that list of names for that Huxley job. But I don't know what to do with him. We should play his message. More annoying noise. I thought you liked chasing the detective's clues. I am sure I would be a better detective. He is not respectable. Ah, you don't fool me, Corbot. You're into this mystery stuff. Let's hear the message. If the dame got this far, she'd already survived Switchblade Greg, and now she had the names of every living member of the chorus. That list was a billion limb lottery win and an ancient curse all rolled into one. It made her the most dangerous person in Nivalis, and the most vulnerable too. It could make her rich, and make her worse than dead. It all just depended on how she used it, and I had a suggestion. 
We should report this list to Corpsec. Didn't you hear, Morpho? That list could make us rich, and by us, I mean me. I know the dame thought I was just some busted robot with more than a few screws loose. But the truth was, I knew all about that AI she'd be talking to. It was called Cora, and she wasn't the only one looking for it. Cora? Like, THE Cora? Our friend Huxley really has lost it. From what I'd gathered, the dame had been to Cora's sanctum before. Maybe more than once. I needed her to go there one last time. She had to make sure she wasn't followed, but the dame was smart. And if we were going to put a stop to the chorus for good, we'd need help from all the ancient dark gods of technology we could find. This course of action is unwise. Traveling outside the Corpsec city jurisdiction is dangerous. Maybe for you. Corpsec wants me dead, remember? I do not want you dead. Morpho, if you're going to join up with the sec, you're going to take on all their actions and own them. What they think is what you think. You gotta choose a side, man, me or them. It is clear that I'll choose them, but I will be disappointed when you are dead. I'm touched. Now, let's go meet this Cora. Maybe she can tell us how to turn this list of names into, like, a billion limbs. What would you even do with a billion limbs? Spend it all on drugs? Well, in the short term, it would pay off some of the people who are trying to kill me. It would clear me out of Corpsec debt, too. I'd even offer you a few mil to drop your dumb dream. I would turn down such an offer. Sure. We'll see. Face-up.